Welcome to the Georgia 4 training center for another training session. Today we're gonna do talk about circumposing and patting. What is circumposing? Circumposing is metal plant propagation which we the process is to catch a new plant from an old plant. Alright, is the easiest way to catch plant from the old stock. Alright? So we are going to show you some of the tools we use for circumposing and how we do it. Tools we use for circumposing are body knife. Or if you don't have a body knife, you can use a, a kitchen and a knife that you use in the kitchen. But not the one that you use directly in the kitchen. A new one that doesn't use in the kitchen yet. Alright? You need your protein powder. The purpose of the protein powder is to encourage growth in the plants right here is your brush the brush is used to apply the routine powder to the stock you also need alcohol where you use alcohol is to sterilize your tools you must sterilize your, your tools before you use them you also need your hand fork and your spade the fork is used to crumble the soil and the spade is used to used to put the, the, the soil in the container you also need card um, you need sawdust or soil sun or kaya any one of the four can be used for some composing you also need plastic or file paper to put the material into for the composing you also need your cicator the cicator is used to cut away a leaf or extra branches that is around the area that you're going to circumpose. Alright, so we're going to do our circumposing. Remember, before you do your circumposing, you must look for a healthy, a healthy stock. Alright, so here we are. We're going to select our stock to do the circumposing. Alright. This is a healthy stock, okay? Some of the plants that you, you, you can use for circumposing are croton, hibiscus, ficus fig, or cherry. Alright? This one is a croton. It's a croton we're going to do circumposing on today. Alright? So remember, I said to you, clear your way before you, you start to do anything. And if there is too much leaf, you remove some of the leaves. This one is okay. Alright. So the steps in circumposing. You select the nodes. So you count the nodes. One, two. So alright, you're going to make a ring around below the first node. And another ring five centimeters below the first ring. Or you could say above the other node. So alright, here we go. Our first ring, right around it. it, it. Right? And you make the other ring 5 cm below. Or above the, the, the second node. Then you make a slice down the middle. And you remove that ring of bark. Alright? Remove the ring of bark. Our next step is to scrape away the sap. Right? Scrape the moisture away until it is dry. Alright? You can feel it if it is dry, yes? So make sure you scrape away all the moisture. Then you get your rooting powder. You use your brush and you apply the rooting powder right below the, the, the ring where you remove that cut. And this will encourage growth. Then yeah, my next step is to get my plastic bag. And remember I said you can use um, file paper as well, but uh, today I'm going to use plastic. So I cut the bottom of the bag. 
Right? Then you fold the bag. Fold it like a rope. Like you're gonna cast an animal, right? Then you fold the plant. Fold it neatly, do not damage the leaves. And you put the plastic bag over it. Then when you put it over, you straighten it back. Alright? Then you get your card. When you tie, you make sure you tie it just below the arm, the second node. Alright? And tie it firmly. Then you lift the bag. And you use your, get your sawdust. Remember the sawdust must be moist. Any material you're using, it must be moist. Put enough so that it can cover the, the, the cut. Alright. Then you, you wrap the bag tight. Hold the bag and you wrap it tight, as tight as possible until it is firm. The sawdust is com compact. Then you give it a wrap right around. Then you make a tie. So tight as tight as possible so as to prevent water from getting to it or, or moisture. Then you would watch that on a daily basis to see when it starts to send root. When it has root in it, you, can, you remove it and plant it either to a container or to the ground. It can stay up to 21 days. But I mean, when when you apply the root in almond, that, as, I said, as I said before, it, it encourages growth. So you, you, you continue to watch it on a daily basis until you see root develop inside there. Alright, potting of plants. Why you pot your plants? The purpose of potting your plants, you, you pot your plants because you can remove your container, you can rotate your container. You can use your container with your plants for shows and stuff like those. Put, place it on your veranda and all of that. Whatever you want it for. Alright. So the, the mixture for your potting is two soil, one manure and one sun. So for the interest of time, we have our mixture ready. So what you do, you can use any container to pot your plant, you can use your oil jug or your original pot, right? But remember, before you, if you're going to use any other pot from your flower pot, make sure that it has hole in the bottom so as to allow the spillage. And before you put your mixture in it, make sure you have, you get some river stone. Put your river stone and you place them in the bottom of the container so as to allow drainage. Okay, so here we go. We have our mixture ready. And remember, do not pull your container too much. Alright, our next step is because we, we don't have any plant that is um, what we circumpose ready as yet. We have to use this as an example. Alright? 
So when you're going to pot your plant, you find the center of the pot and you make a little hole in the middle and then you put place your plant in there and you give it a press to compact it, right? After that, you put place your, your pot in a cool area and you water it until it is properly catch. Then you can put your plant anywhere you want to, 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 to put it, all right? And it's as simple as that. So thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. Please subscribe, leave a message or a comment and we'll give you a response. Thank you. Perseverance to the Lord, the service, make your hands willing to help.